We study X is 16 and Q. So from recently we have opened a website, kpop.org, and uh, at which uh, you can download, for example, X is 16. We have X series of kpop physics. X uh, 17 fluid dynamics. This is X uh, 17. X 17 checkpoint. And now we study X 17 and Q. And next we study X of 17 Q and the corresponding YouTube lecture video file I provided the link. If you click the link, you will find the videos. So after completing this lecture, this X 17 and Q will appear over there. Okay. And our YouTube website is here, youtube.com, at kpop. All right. So let's begin with the question one. Explain what the density is. There are many kinds of densities. First of all, volume mass density rho is mass per volume. So mass divided by volume. Assuming that the of material consists of a uniform matter. So the density is usually assumed to be constant, but if it is if it is a mixture of or In general, the density may not be a constant, and it can be uh, a variable depending on the position and time. A uniform material, however, we can define the density at the mass per volume. We can also consider the charge density. In that case, we divide charge divide charge divided by volume. The volume mass density rho of a uniform material, non-uniform material, in that case, it is a function of uh, time and position. So, in that case, we need to specify the region at which it is measured. So, during a small tiny interval, and in the vicinity of a point for x plus x plus dx y and y plus dy and z and z plus dz something like that so in this situation the tiny volume can be divided uh, defined by the triple scalar product dx dy dz that is actually dx e1 hat dy e2 hat dot dz e3 hat so this triple scalar product becomes the volume The density depends on time and position, so this uh, numerator may depend on the position and time. This is a, a function of time and position. Function of time and position. Okay, so these uh, the Qvax is actually 
this and this is not a uh, third order differential it is just a product of dx dy and dz okay In case we are living in uh, considering the problem in Cartesian in the Cartesian coordinate system, the volume can be parameterized by this. If you are working on a problem in the two-dimensional cylindrical coordinate uh, three-dimensional cylindrical coordinate system, then we define a cylinder. is a thin thickness is a dz and we have a disk from the z-axis perpendicular distance is a row and additional differential is d row okay and then We have this kind of volume. This is DZ. This is D rho, and this is the azimuthal angle D phi. Then the length is the rho times the D phi. As a result, the volume of this infinitesimal volume element is d rho multiplied by rho d phi multiplied by dz to find this if you are working in the three-dimensional polar coordinate system in that case the volume can be parameterized like that Okay, explain what the current density is. Current density is this. This is the product of density multiplied by velocity. So density, for example, air, we consider airflow and density at a certain point at certain time may change depending on time and position. So we have a density that is a, a mass per a volume and then multiplied by the velocity at that point. So flow has its own velocity depending on time and position. So product of a velocity vector and the density. So this is called the current density. Current density. We recall that the density is a function of time and position. <clears throat> it's a mass divided by volume. But this mass can be expressed in terms of mass of a single object if the system consists of many identical particles of each mass is f. So we can define number density that is number of identical particles trapped inside a very tiny volume. In that case the density is the num number density multiplied by a single particle mass. What is the area vector A of a circle of radius A on the xy plane centered at the origin? Okay, on the xy plane, we have a circle of radius A. The area of a circle is pi a square and this is the area 
and we introduce a normal vector unit normal vector and hat that is perpendicular to this plane if it is not uniform plate if it is not flat surface then we have to change the direction depending on the position due to the curvature however if it is flat we can introduce a single unit vector however there is an ambiguity whether we choose n hat or opposite direction minus n hat just like when we have two first product with them made of the two vectors they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so we have an ambiguity this is a z uh, xy plane therefore this uh, normal vector unit normal vector can be either e3 hat or minus e3 hat okay so area vector is area multiplied by unit vector and in this uh, situation area is this and unit vector can be either e3 hat or minus e3 hat in case a uh, surface is uh, curved for example in here this uh, represents uh, tiny surface this sigma multiplied by n hat to be the differential area element on a surface of the sphere of radius a in that case the surface element can be parameterized in this manner and unit vector n hat is uh, the unit radial vector where theta is the polar angle measured from the z-axis and d cosine theta is minus sine theta d theta and theta runs from the 0 to pi and with when theta equals 0 cosine theta is a plus 1 and it's a minus one so the it starts at the maximum value and ends up with the minimum value therefore this is d theta is increasing but cosine theta decreasing so this negative sign is absorbed by the exchanging the lower limit and upper limit of the integral to make the whole surface integrated over a loud region is a positive definite number four what is the mass current at time t due to a current density j passing through a flat surface with the area a this is area a and unit vector is n half we can consider differential surface element vector surface area multiplied by n hat in this case we have area finite area so this one is can be parameterized by area a multiplied by n something like that however even though this surface uh, is uh, flat when we integrate the current by taking the scalar product between the current density and surface element there can be 
uh, position and time dependence, especially the position dependence of the current density. So we cannot integrate the surface in advance. So we have to integrate this after taking the scalar product at a very tiny region and then integrate. So if I want to compute the current passing through a flat surface due to a current density J distributed over space and that may be changing depending on time, the current, total current is integral of differential current and differential current is the scalar product of current density and surface area element. Okay, so here integral is missing. If the current density is uniform, in that case, it is easy to carry out the integral. This one is a J0. A vector, we have a scalar product because it becomes a constant vector, this sigma. And now we can integrate over the surface because this J is a, a constant. So J0, scalar product, A and half. Okay, that's it. Five, current density of mass flow is given like that. We notice that we have a boundary at x equals zero and x equals positive, x is negative. But we, for simplicity, we assume this but it doesn't matter. If J0 is a positive, then the current density is to the right side. When X is a positive, then current density flows to the left. So the current diverges so from this singular point, singular plight. M is the mass of the mass enclosed by a cube S of each side L, okay? So we have a X axis, so we have a boundary. So this is X equals to zero. So current density is distributed in such a manner. If I copy this result in here, Hey, what is the flux of passing surface A, B, and D? First of all, current, if I look at this A, there is a boundary at x equals to 0. Yeah, A. Current flows in this direction and this direction. In either way, the normal vector of the surface A is always a perpendicular to this current. So J dot this sigma equals a zero everywhere. So this uh, differential element is a zero, integral is also zero. So on the surface A, it's a zero. It is similar on the surface B too, this uh, surface B, there's a boundary at x equals to 0, and the current density flows in this manner and this manner. So they are perpendicular to the normal direction of the surface. Therefore, B, it vanishes too. However, in the case of D, we have different result. B also zero. In the case of D, 
case of D, the surface to sigma dot J. This is the current that passes through this D. And we know the current density is along this direction. And in this part, it's that direction. But we, we don't care. What we care is this part and this current density and the unit normal vector, they are parallel. So cosine theta equals 1. So the, we have a uniform current density J0. Therefore, the final answer is J0 multiplied by area. That is J0 area. That is L squared. Okay, that's it.